The 140th Westminster Dog Show takes place in New York City next week, and seven new breeds will be competing for the first time. That's a rug. To, <laughs> to take part in the competition, the breeds have to be recognized by the American Kennel Club, which, among other criteria, requires that a few hundred of the dogs of the breed live in the United States. And for the second time, a Madison resident will be judging at Westminster. Jason Hulk owns Spa Wolf, a boarding and daycare center on Madison's north side and this year Jason will be the main judge for the toy group congratulations nice Thank you. to see you thanks Thank for you. being with nice us today you. your interest in dogs I assume goes way back I began when I was eight years old so my family started in German Shepherds then we had Great Danes and it just went on from there I became a professional handler showed dogs for other people and now I'm a judge and to be a judge at Westminster you have to be quite accomplished as a judge don't you you have to do a lot of studying there's a breed standards based on each breed and you have to learn the origins and how the structure is supposed to be for each breed. And how many breeds in the toy group? There's a lot of different ones. There's I think 28 now, yeah. 28 so, yeah. different breeds. So how can you judge that many different breeds? It's a lot of studying. <laughs> yeah. So when, once you're really comfortable with it, you apply, you have interviews, they put you through quite quite a rigorous part to get through the judging and then you're all set. So. What, is, what is it like to judge something here, here as, high Jason at work as high profile as this? It must be a lot of pressure. It is, but once once you've done it a long time, then you get used to it and you just you just go in and you pick the dogs that represent the breed their best. It, it's got to be tough, though. I mean, it is, it is, and especially at Westminster at Madison Square Garden, it's it's alive just like here. So and, I mean, and there's a person there connected to the dog. I mean, so there's a human sure, human connection as well. Sure, sure. It's a it's a team effort. You want them to to interact with the handler, and it's but it's more about the dog itself and how they're built and and what their form and function follows. So. How did you get involved in the toy group specifically? Was that your doing or was that something that Westminster asked you to do? That was what Westminster asked me to do. I'm licensed for breeds in six out of the seven groups, so okay. I have a, a diverse background in the sport. How do you get into this? I started as a, a family member. My parents had purebred dogs and we started from that and I, my interest grew day by day, so that's what, how it progressed. What's your favorite group to judge? Well, because I have such a diverse background, I really like a lot of breeds and a lot of groups, so it's hard, it's hard to pin me down. I mean, <laughs> the kennel clubs tried to pin me down too, and I haven't done it, so that's why I have so many different breeds. Well, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I know a certain two dogs of one particular breed that... In the toy group. <laughs> in the toy group that <laughs> might have I a... think you're a fancier of Shih Tzu's, <laughs> if I recall. There they are. <laughs> oh, no, they are two specimens right there. Yeah, they're not show dogs, but they're, they're, they're good pets, but we don't want to put any into an undue influence on you, Jason. Well, the Shih Tzu so. won the group last year, so you'd, you never know. It could could be another Shih Tzu this year. Are, are there dogs that are in favor and then they go out of favor, like in dogs and out dogs? Um, well, we have ranking systems for each breed, so we, we, we know which dogs are higher ranked, but going into it, it doesn't really affect our judging. It, it's irrelevant. Once we get in the ring, we just pick the dog that we feel represents the breed it's best on the day. So. A lot of pressure. Is this something you get paid to do, or do you volunteer to be a judge? Oh, uh, they pay us a fee to come to judge a show, but m most of it, we don't make any money really because it's a lot of expense just to get through the training. You do it for the love mm -hmm. of yeah, the love of the sport. Well, congratulations! Thank you. We'll be watching. We'll be, we'll be watching national you television, yeah. CNBC on Monday night, right? CNBC, seven o'clock. Best of luck to you. Thank Thanks you. for the coming in tonight. Thanks. Appreciate it.